and we are very pleased to welcome our first guest of the two-day event. His name is Tim Burke. Tim is 11 years old. He's from South Boston. His parents, Charlie and Mary, are with him as well. He was diagnosed with leukemia, and things were going pretty well. It was New Year's weekend, I guess, and you were both skiing and playing basketball, and you felt something was a little wrong. Tell me about that day when you noticed something different. Well, I had a fever, a really high fever, and my ribs were starting to really hurt. So I, they've hurt, they were hurting since Christmas, mm. but I didn't know what it was. So Did you think it was maybe skiing or playing basketball or something like that? No, I didn't think that it was that. You thought it was something different? Yeah, it was a little before I did those thi- right. activities. So then what did the doctor say when you finally went to see the doctor? Um. Well, the, the, she sent me right over to Children's, mm-hmm. and uh, she got a wheelchair because by then, my instead of all in my ribs and my legs were hurting, oh. so uh, I I took a wheelchair and then went into the emergency room, and I really don't remember anything after that because yeah. I was pretty I was pretty much out. What do you want to be when you grow up? Mm, probably a professional baseball player. Or, or president, one or the other. You're not picky, right? You could be one or the other. I'm not picking. I have time. You'd, you'd rather be a professional baseball player than be president? Yeah. Yeah? I'd rather have you be president. It pays better. Yeah. yeah. Baseball player pays That's better. That's true. It does. Uh, you speak, could do both. Speaking of pay, I'm reading this fact about you. It said you hosted a lemonade stand to raise some money for the Jimmy Fund, correct? That's fine. I get that. You raised $2,000? Were you like price, price gouging? No, he, he had a gun. <laughs> <on> the, uh, <laughs> yeah. What were you charging for a cup of lemonade? One dollar, but I also had hot dogs, grab bags, and I raffled off a set of my Red Sox tickets that I probably wouldn't be able to go to because wow. I had treatment. Yeah. So it, it, against the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, and you did this all in one day or was it a weekend? It was one day. In the one na- day? In the neighborhood. Two thousand. Oh. Wow. Nice. Pretty good. What did you charge per cup? Like 20 bucks? No, you said a dollar. dollar. Dollar cup. But I did a hot dog. What'd you put in your grab bags? Two thousand. Well, oh, there there could be money in the grab bags too. Ah, so. uh, I like this kid. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty creative. That's very creative. Now you're gonna do that someday and like pocket the cash, cause yeah, you know, you, you, you've earned it, man. No, it would go all to the Jimmy Fund. All still. to the Jimmy Fund. Every penny. Yep. You're the reason that we are here the next couple of days. We're gonna hopefully raise more than the two thousand dollars you raised at the lemonade stand. And we thank you very much for coming in and visiting us. Now, let me ask you this before we say goodbye. Is this a World Series year for Jacoby and the Red Sox? Yes. You're sure? Yep. You're not worried about the Yankees? No. You're going to watch the game tonight? Yes. Good. And they're going to take care of the Yankees no problem? Yep. And then win the World Series? Yep. Who do you think they're going to see in the World Series? Philadelphia. Oh, this guy's smart. I know. He Man, is. He, he, he could easily shot. replace me to Perel. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Tim Burke. He's from South Boston. Tim, very, very nice to meet you. Good luck, please. Good to see you. Come back and see us next year, will you please? I will. Excellent.